Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions week 10. I think we've got week 11 and then an international break and then it's all the way through till March. But anyway, a lot to talk about, a lot to get through, so guys, you know what to do. a big for fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Leicester versus Arsenal. Leicester, to me, are one of these teams that you know, can play well and do play well from time to time. But then with the same reversal pretty much, you know, I think they can't remember quite how I got in this previous weekend, but never you mind really. Um King Power Stadium, a difficult place to go, early kickoff for Arsenal. I'm gonna go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Brentford. Burnley to me are uh, you know struggling at the bottom i think they've only got four points on the board if i'm correct i know we're not that too far of the two points in norwich uh, but yet again you know we're playing a very good brentford side a brentford team that has taken the premier league by storm um and then this season as well uh beating the likes of us on their opening game nearly drawing to chelsea and, you know, they have really done some really good results this season. But I'm going to go for a Brentford win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brentford win. My next one is Liverpool versus Brighton. Now, I know I said last week about Brighton drawing to Manchester City. And if you watch my vlog back, which you can buy now, by the way, it's on the channel. It was so hard to watch Brighton. Um, expecting more of a fight from Brighton, if I'm being brutally honest. Two muck ups at the back cost us two goals. Uh, I can't, it might have been the third one as well. But uh, anyway, so hard to watch. As I said, you can see the vlog from that game, and it, I even I say in the vlog, it's hard to watch because I know we could play better than that in the first half, and that's what cost us the game. Going away to a difficult Liverpool who beat Man United 5-0 at Old Trafford this previous weekend. That's 5-0. I know Man United fans probably could say I'm rubbing it in, but I can't get made around that. It really was a dominant Liverpool performance. I don't know much about you know where Man United are headed at this present time, but we have got a difficult weekend uh, this weekend. I'll get down to that when we get down to that fixture. But going forward to Brighton versus Liverpool, Liverpool versus Brighton. I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. I've got no choice. If Liverpool played like they did at Old Trafford and Brighton played like they did in the first half against Man City, I can actually see it being one half and that's half for me to say being a Brighton fan. So I'm going to go for a very high, very dedicated 4-0 Liverpool win. I'm hoping it's not that high. And I'm hoping Brighton played better, better than what they did against Man City. Next one is Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. Now, as I just mentioned, Man City, very dominant on the, um, you know, when they play Brighton. Two goals coming up from the mistakes of Brighton, maybe three, I'm not too sure. You can always go back and watch my vlog and see what you think anyway. But, you know, very dominant Man City. Do I actually see them winning the Premier League title? It's gonna to me it's a three horse race between Liverpool, City and Chelsea. And you can go back and watch my Chelsea Champions League vlog um as well up on my channel now and I'll make it appear at the end of this video. Just click on the playlist for the football vlogs and they're all on there anyway. Going forward to this game, Manchester City being back at the M the uh Etihad Stadium, nearly said Emirates. Um at the Etihad Stadium. Crystal Palace going to a very, very difficult uh, Manchester City ground. Obviously, Man City got to be on the high after beating Brighton and quite comfortably as well. Like, that's even more hurtful for me to say. But I'm going to go for the same as what I did with Liverpool and Brighton, and that's a 4 0 Manchester City win. My next one is Newcastle versus Chelsea. Newcastle picked up their first point, I believe, with under their new owners against Crystal Palace. Please don't quote me on that. But yet again, very struggling. They're having to work with the 
players they've got all the way up until January. Um, and even then, it's only a month window. Surely we ain't going to get that much business done within a month. Chelsea, as I said, I went to see them in the Champions League. And you can see the vlog. And I'll make it appear at, at the end of this video. Very dominant. They were very dominant, uh, dominant at, uh, against Norwich. They were very um, dominant at the Champions League game that I went to. And it was a very um, eye-opener from me, from a neutral fan's perspective, just how well Chelsea are playing this season. Uh, going up to St James's Park, ain't going to make a blonde a bit of difference to me. I'm going to go for a Chelsea win, and I'm going to go for, yet again, a 4 nil scoreline for that one. Four 4 nils. The next one is Watford versus Southampton. I can't remember how Watford got on this. Oh, yes. what Did Watford drew? I think they drew, didn't they? Um, obviously, you can put it down in the comments below anyway. But, you know, at this present in time, I'm not too sure. I knew Southampton drew to Burnley. I knew that one. And I thought Southampton were going to get the three points from um, that game against Burnley. I think Burnley scored around the 90th minute. So, with this one... Quite easy, quite comfortable, a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Spurs versus Manchester United. Now, this is where I quote, I think, I know Spurs played on Sunday to West Ham. I think they lost one now. But Manchester United, I know my main United subscribers ain't going to like hearing this, but I've got to talk about it. I really have got to document this because... I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. Liverpool score one. Okay. I did say um, I would find it hard if Liverpool scored first. I find it very hard for Man United to come back into it. But yeah, again, same with Brighton and Man City. Spectres have fight from United and there was nothing. And then they went 2-0 up. Um, yeah, again, quite comfortably. Ball across the box. Uh, Jota put it away. A slight came for offside, but VAR um, ruled it on. And what I've seen, it does look on from the VAR picture. Uh, three, and it would just the floodgates open. Not being rude, but I think Liverpool could have won by double di digits in that game if there was more time. Because at, at the last 10 minutes, 20 minutes, Liverpool were just playing with Man United. It was uh, quite amusing to watch from a neutral football fan perspective. As a supporter of Man United, it would be very annoying. And obviously, Liverpool will cross the bragging, bragging rights up there. Going to Spurs, obviously, as I said, Spurs lost this weekend. But Man United have got big problems. The likes of Harry Kane in the Tottenham team, Son, Lucas Moura, Daddy Ali, I'm not sure if he'll be starting. But. If there's anything like at the Newcastle, Spurs are going to beat Man United. So I'm going to go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one to Spurs. My next one, relegation battle already this time round of the season. It's only early on, but it's Norwich versus Leeds. Now, Leeds, I think they lost. Did they lose? May they lose or draw? I can't quite remember. But Norwich, as I said, lose to Chelsea. Was pretty much expecting. No disrespect to Norwich, but. I only picked two points up. But Leagues are in this scrap as well for this season. Leagues are going to have to go to Carroll Road and pick up the three points. Um, they got no, they can't draw this one if they want to survive. This is a must-win game for Leagues. Same with Norwich, so if they want to survive, they're going to have to win this game. Anyway, so I'm going to go for a very nitty, very gritty 0-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus West Ham. Aston Villa, yet again, to me, looked like struggling with that Jack, Jack Greenish and that Aston Villa squad. West Ham, quite comfortably against Tottenham. I think it's only a 1-0 scoreline. But anyway, you know, still look quite comfortable. Up at Villa Park, where's this game going to go? I'm going to predict an away win, I think, for West Ham. And I'm going to predict a 3-1 West Ham win. My last one for this weekend is Manchester United, uh, not Man United, Wolverhampton versus Everton. Wolverhampton, I can't quite remember how they're going this weekend, but going up against a very good Everton side um, under Rafael Benitez. It's not, no, it's not Derby, it's too far, but 
Well, you never know with uh, Brighton and Palace, and oh, I think I'll get bogged down with that, but, but I know the reason why the rival's there. I never call that game a derby anyway. Um, but Wolves, they're okay this season. Everton, slightly the better team. So I'm going to go for a... F I was going to... No, I don't want to go for that. I'll go for a 2-1 Everton win. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.